Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Donna and for those of you who are new here, please don't forget to subscribe below. It really helps with the growth of this channel. And if you enjoy watching my videos, hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. So in today's video, we're going to be unboxing my newest Gucci addition to my collection, as you can see by the bag I'm holding. So I can't wait to show you guys exactly what I bought. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay guys, so let's unbox what I got. As you can see, it comes in a brown Gucci box with Gucci written in gold and Firenze 1921 underneath. So it comes with two dust bags, one for the strap. And the second one is for the bag itself. So I'm move this out of the way and I love the Gucci dust bags because they kind of like stitch the logo onto the the bag itself as you can see it's kind of like a label with a black ribbon to match the label so let's unbox her Can any of you guess what it is? Leave your comments below, or rather your guesses below in the comment section. Yes, guys, I got the Micro Guccissima bag. It's really a cross between a wallet on a chain and a bag. And I decided to go in this red color. It's kind of like a cherry red, mahogany-ish type of color. It's coming up a little brighter on camera. It is darker. And more and more subtle in real life as you can see and it is rectangular in shape so it's kind of the same shape or length as a long wallet so eight inches about it is higher though and obviously thicker so it measures four inches in height and one bolt and 1.5 in thickness so as you can see it does open fairly wide so you can basically fit all your daily essentials in this bag. And what I love is the empreinte type of logoing on the bag. I feel although there is the Gucci logo all over the bag, it is a little more subtle because it is kind of pressed into the leather. So it's not as flashy. And there kind of is the Gucci name in the same kind of pressed pattern on the front as you can see now this is a full leather bag and the leather is quite hard it's not smushy or gushy in any way as you can see if I knock so it is fairly stiff I would say however it's ultra smooth so it feel it feels very nice and if we look at the front You can see there's that empreinte everywhere. The back is pretty simple. It's kind of plain. And if I open it, so the inside of the flap is all in that smooth leather. It's the same color as the outer. However, there's no empreinte inside. It is a snap, clo uh, snap closure, as you can see. And it's red on red stitching all over the bag, the outside as well. It's all silver hardware, not that there is that much hardware on this bag, but for any hardware there is, it's silver. There's one zipper pull right here. So you kind of have a little pocket or pouch in the front. The zipper is fairly easy to open considering how narrow it actually is. So if I open the pocket, it does open fairly wide. The inside is material, it's not leather, so it's kind of a black nylon-y gross grain material, as you can see. And in this pocket, I would basically leave any money or coins or more important documents I would have since it is closed with a zipper or by a zipper. Now the inside comes with the Gucci Authenticity Certificate. 
So this, I'm not going to read it, but it just basically explains that it is an authentic Gucci piece. So here's another Gucci tag. There's writing in many different languages, as you can see. Dehumidifiers. Comes with another Gucci tag with its serial number. And these are just cardboards to help the, the bag keep its shape. Probably not going to store it with these cardboards. So as you can see, as I mentioned, it is kind of like a wallet on a chain. So there are spaces for your cards. This bag can hold eight different cards, as you can see. There are, four, there are four slots on each side. And there's a kind of a main pocket where I would keep, let's say, my phone, my keys, my lip gloss. And the back of that pocket is in that same grass grain material, whereas the pocket, the card, the credit card or card pockets are in leather. There is one type kind of hidden pocket at the back. If I open it, you'll be able to see, and it is in that same gras grain. I don't know what I would keep in here. I don't really know if I'm going to use this bag, but I guess certain cards or receipts can go in this pocket. And as you can see at the back of the flap, there is the Gucci logo imprinted with Made in Italy as well as the serial number. So that's the bag. There are these two loops where we insert the strap which I will be showing you in just a moment. So let's look at the strap. As you can see, it's just a simple, same red leather strap. It kind of looks like a thin belt. It does have a metal buckle in silver hardware. And the strap is adjustable, so there are three holes where you can adjust the strap. I tried this on to see if it could fit as a belt. Unfortunately, the strap is either too long if I wrap it around my waist once. If I wrap it or try to wrap it twice, it's too small. So for me personally, it, it won't work as a belt, but maybe for others, of you, others out there, it may be able to work as a belt. So basically, we would just insert the strap through the loops like this then we can kind of just close it like a buckle and your bag is ready to wear with a strap on it. So as you can see, there are many, many ways to wear this bag, which is one of the reasons I did go for, for it in the end. I feel like I will be able to get a lot of use out of it. It's very versatile. You can wear it many different ways as we will take a look in just a few moments. I bought this bag at the Toronto Premium Outlets. I paid 455 Canadian dollars plus taxes for the bag. Now, unfortunately, this line seems to be discontinued because there are no Gucci Sima pieces on the Gucci website. However, I did browse the internet a little bit for similar pieces to this one or part of the Gucci Sima line. And I did find a couple of this, the same bag on those websites. I can link them down below in the description box for any of you who are interested. For those of you who live in the Toronto area, the outlets is always an option. This bag, I forgot to mention, did also come in black so for those of you who would prefer a black color, there's always that option as well. So now let's just take a few moments to look at the different ways we can wear this bag. So for the first look, I kind of just doubled up the strap to be able to wear it on your shoulder, but a little sh shorter than usual, kind of like this, like they would wear in the 90s and early 2000s. 
So this makes kind of a more formal look and you can kind of dress it up a little bit more compared to crossbody. For the second look, I'm going to unwrap the strap. So the second look is crossbody, and as you can see, the bag kind of hits right at my hip. I adjusted the strap to the shor shortest possible length. I'm going to keep it that way throughout the whole video, but just keep in mind that you can either lengthen it a little bit if you, you choose to, or if you're taller than me, I'm 5'6 for re reference. And this makes it more of a casual running errands type of look. Third way is just on your shoulder like this and as you can see the bag hits a little longer it's a little bit lower than my hip but as well when you pair this kind of way of wearing it with a dress or skirt you can kind of dress up the look a little bit more now another look i don't have the appropriate strap but for those of you who have either thinner belts or straps or kind of chain straps if, it's your, if you're into this look as well, you can kind of wear it as a belt bag. I'm just gonna show you a little bit how. So basically, it would look like this around your waist. Or you can wear it kind of like when you wear a bum bag over your shoulder. So kind of like crossbody but a little bit shoulder, uh, shorter, like this. Which are cute looks as well if that's kind of your style, you're more casual. Now for the last look, very simple. However, I do have to remove the strap. And yes, as you might have guessed, the last way to wear this bag is clutch. So you can kind of wear it like this or hold it like this and kind of carry it around as a clutch. Perfect for more formal nights or if you're going out for drinks or a fancier restaurant. So that's all the looks I thought up for you. Can you guys think of any more? Leave them in the comment section below. So guys, those were all the looks I came up with. That was my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I hope I helped you guys discover a new bag that maybe wasn't on your radar. If you did enjoy my video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave all your comments and questions down below. I'll be sure to answer them and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.